Hello again, Internet. So there's this soldier, Major Stephen Frederick Cook, who last month received orders to go into active duty in Afghanistan. Only he's decided not to go because he claims that Barack Obama is not the president and therefore has no authority to order him to go to Afghanistan. You may remember this argument from every stepchild ever as the you're not my real dad arguments. That's not the crazy part. The crazy part is that Stephen Frederick Cook is only one of many people who claim that Barack Obama is not the president. The basis for this whole argument is that Barack Obama was not born in the U.S., which is weird because he was born in Hawaii in 1961. So this is a thing? This is really going to be a thing? This is the most childish, my guy didn't win attitude that I've ever seen in this country. I remember in 2000 when everybody ran around slinging accusations at Bush for rigging the election and thinking, geez, people, your guy lost. Get over it. A year ago, the Obama campaign produced a certificate of live birth, proving that he was, in fact, born a citizen both of the U.S. and the state of Hawaii. Deniers and naysayers are either ignoring that evidence or declaring it fake, which is their right, I suppose. Major Stephen Frederick Cook can argue that at his court-martial. I wish him the best of luck. But mark me, dear subscribers, I didn't come here today to talk about politics. I came here to talk about something much more important. Board games. This is Crack the Case. It's one of my favorite board games, and probably one of the best board games ever made. See, what I enjoy about games is the strategic aspect, the sense of, does this game have good rules, and can I get better at it? But many people prefer the social aspect of games, the sense of, is this game fun to play with other people, even if I don't or can't win? Remind me to devote a vlog someday to the topic of strategic versus random elements in game design. On second thought, don't. That would be like nine hours long. Anyway, these two paradigms usually lead to very different styles of games. If you like rules and competition, you gravitate towards stuff like chess, risk, and go. If you prefer socializing, you gravitate towards party games like Apples to Apples, Trivial Pursuit, or Pictionary. What's so great about Crack the Case is that it very evenly splits the difference. Everyone's in a room shouting questions and answers, so there's a very strong social aspect to the game. But the rules very clearly reward logical and lateral thinking. It's a rare fine line to walk. The game works like this. I read a case and a mystery, and then you have to solve it. For example, <clears throat> Down and Out, The Case. A man is found unconscious on the floor. His clothing is scorched. The mystery, what happened to the man? So this is the point where you guys would ask me yes or no questions about the case, which would eventually lead you to the solution. But I guess that 2009 YouTube technology isn't as interactive as 1993 board game technology, so if you guys want the solution, you're going to have to check over there in the sidebar. Anyway, I bought my copy of Crack the Case from a guy on Amazon Marketplace who lives very close to me because I thought that would ensure swift delivery. I didn't count on quite how swift, though. I got a knock on my door that very day because the guy decided to just drive it to my house and save us both the hassle. On a Sunday, no less. Super Bowl Sunday. So yeah, Crack the Case. It's out of print, so you'll never be able to find a copy, but at least now you know it exists. See you guys next week. What is with this beam of light? It's like... Oh.